Yep, we're getting in the sewers now, and this video probably won't be that long, considering that to just finish up Warp Room 2, we have to go through this level, and then, um, then the second boss. These are sure. These are one of my favorite levels. These levels are fun. I mean, it's just like, just plain fun. I gotta itch my back there. Even though I'm kind of breaking my own law here, but these levels can be hard if you rush it. And because, you know, there's electric and not electric. There's things you have to jump on, things you have to spin, things you have to slide into, things you have to jump and spin into. I mean, this, the sewer levels have a lot of different things. So it's really, it's really interesting. It's one of my favorite level types in the game just because of that reason. There's a lot of different things in it. Like these things you have to jump on. Um, the little robot mouse things that are there. You have to like <clears throat> spin those. I don't know if you can jump on them. I don't think I've tried that. I think you can. I just think it's the more thing to just spin into. These are... The electric and non-electric. These are the robot mouse things I was talking about. Um, um, so yeah. And then those guys with the... Whatever it is. with the Those guys that hold like the... Fire thing. You have to jump and spin on those. Into those guys. And then we have the ceiling grids. And these things that you can't touch. I mean, it, there's a lot of different things in this level. And that's why I think, whoa, I think these are one of my favorite level types. As I randomly spin Wumpa Fruit. that long for them to go down and they finally go down quite a bit and then I lose an Aku. But we get through it. Still with one Aku left. We will be facing the Komodo Bros. And these guys are Komodo Dragons as you can probably tell from the title and they like to throw swords around show offs but yeah so basically you have to dodge the swords you have to spin them you have to dodge this random guy spin him randomly deflects off him and then goes onto the fat guy I think they're like Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo or something like that. I could be wrong, but that's what I th think their names are. The fat guy only spins, um, um, the fat guy only throws his swords around while the other guy is spinning this time. So if you have Akus on this part, it could be helpful. I have to go all the way back around, spin him, goes into him, and we are done. So not a bad level. Not a bad boss at all. For some reason, 
the first time when I did that boss, I went through it and had no deaths. And then the second time, it took me like 10 minutes to get through it. But that's kind of like what the level is, though. It can be hard for some reason, but it's not that hard. It can be hard, though. It's kind of hard to explain. <clears throat> All right, so we get through that um, boss easily. We get through the first 10 levels and the two bosses easily. Um, that was nice. So I think I'm going to stop for now. But next time, we will go through the third warp room, which includes plant, food, sewer, later, bear down, another bear level. Road to Ruin, one of my favorite levels in the game. Probably my favorite. And then Unbearable. So we have a good slate of levels coming in the third warp room. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. Um... And I hope you guys will join me for later videos. This is Bandicoot Ultra Fan. I will be done for now. I will turn the console off after I say goodbye.